Hello, everyone. Welcome to Retro Saturday. Welcome to uh, December 11th, What's Sold Saturday. It is officially the holiday rush, and I'm seeing that in my sales. And we can't rush anywhere because... We're under 14 inches now. <laughs> Last night, it can't. snowed 19 inches in the city that we live in in Minnesota, which is actually not even the worst city here. There's a city that got 21 Can you imagine inches. getting almost two feet of snow in a night? I couldn't do it. Yeah, it happened mm -hmm. within like 18 hours, even less, like 15 or 16 hours. It wasn't like a blizzard, but it was just like continuous. So we can't leave. Jack should have this edited and we have it filmed on time because What stuck. else are we gonna do? We're stuck in the house. Yes. So this week was actually quite a good sales week. I had a really good week. Like Ryan said- At I the end of the week, I think is really I when it like- I think there are people using holiday money and like mm -hmm. shopping for others for holiday gifts. So I think that's helping. Also, one more thing. The USPS cutoff to ensure that your gifts arrive by Christmas is December 15th. If you're just using normal just shipping. Just in case. Unless, yeah, unless you pay like overnight or whatever, but that's normal shipping. I thought about that the other day. And also, thank you everyone that watched our collaboration with Lori. And thank you to Lori. We had such a fun oh, time doing so that. Fun. And <laughs> not to brag, but I did see a lot of comments saying that we won. The only issue with that, that just means that we're tied. Because she won I know, the first. She won last year. So, so next year, there's going to be a tiebreaker. Some... And also, congratulations, Lori, on 20,000 YouTube subscribers. Yes. Good for her. But at some point, we'll have to do a rematch to like pass. decide who gets two out of three. Oh. We are going to jump into our sales. This week covers the 4th through the 10th of December. I cannot believe that we're literally already halfway through the almost month halfway through December. But before we jump into the Poshmark sales, I wanted to brag about an eBay sale that I had this week. Three weeks ago, you guys know that I had my highest sale ever on eBay. Mm -hmm. And I totally forgot to say the price in that video, but those Stella McCartney pants sold for $801. I don't know where the $1 came in. It was an offer that she sent me. So, and then last week, I had my second highest sale ever on eBay as well. It was an Agua Bendita dress for $700. And this week, I would like to tell you guys that I sold this amazing, stunning, beautiful, once again, one of my favorite things I've ever had in my store. Red Valentino Serpent Denim Jacket. It had like shearling collar. So it was oh. so detailed, the stitching, kind of like those pants. It sold for $500. Like, what is happening? I'm not saying that I'm an eBay seller, but I'm also not saying that I'm not an eBay seller. <laughs> he made these just for that, so everybody give him a round of applause, please. I don't know what's happening. I'm not, mm. like, huge. I mean, all of this is because it looks perfectly. Not gonna talk about it. And it's really paying off. Like, eBay is popping off. I take back every bad thing I've ever said about eBay. Literally. I'm sorry. I've heard... I'm all I've... the eBay people that got on my butt to, like, get on eBay. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm, still, I'm still not I having, like, quantity amount as posh, but I still also only have, like, half my stuff there. I'm every day chunking away, getting mm -hmm. some stuff on there. Mm -hmm. But, yeah, it is doing much better than my Mercari or my Tradesy. And I also had an eBay sale. It was very conveniently another red Valentino piece. It was this really fun little booby, two eyes, little pink fit and flare dress. It was so cute. Oh. <laughs> They're really dirty. I have so much on my face right now. Yeah. They're so dirty. Yeah, these glasses are really dirty. So now we will jump into the Poshmark sales. And Poshmark was really good this week as well. Mm -hmm. The first day was the fourth. And I had Uno, four. Dos, tres, cuatro. And I had four on the fourth. Isn't that an intro to a Pitbull song? Oh, uno, dos, yeah. tres, cuatro. I only had one. I only had uno. Uno on the cuatro. The first <laughs> sale I had on the fourth went to NW. So that is just her initials on her page is NW. NW. So thank you, NW. <laughs> it reminds me of DW. What is that from again? Oh my God. She was Arthur's spoiled little sister. Yeah. I hated her. NW is oh. though. NW's show. <laughs> DW. So NW bought this Consumer. vintage Fleetwood Mac Rumors graphic t-shirt, torrid black slim leggings, Anthropology Gola Shimmer Paint sneakers, so cute. and Anthropology Moth Striped Polka Dot Sweater. So I know two of these things were for her daughter, so I hope Ooh, that she loves them. Trendy daughter. And these sold for $115 with a shipping discount, so I get $89.54. Thank you, NW. Then I sold... This shocked me. So I actually sold that Lafayette one. 
48 tunic that we got in Iowa. I it listed really it just because like I was going to send it to Real Real, but I was taking pictures that day anyway, so I was like, why don't I just list it for a week? Cuz like what if it sells? Yeah. And it did. So that sold in a bundle with the Radley Blambeth Muse tote that was also from Iowa and these sold for 90 with a shipping discount and I get 69.54 and I will That's take, a good bundle. Yeah, that is totally awesome. Then I sold this J Crew wool zip city coat. These are a total freaking bolo. Oh, these are amazing. They're I wish I found them more. I feel like we used to come across J Crew coats a lot more like there's like back two the J Crew pieces that I am just like I love finding them. It's mm -hmm. like the sweater blazer, whatever year it's from, whatever whatever label it does great and then this coat or anything very very close to this coat does amazing because this sold for 115 and i get 92 and that was my listing price and it had some spots on it then my last on the fourth was i think my best posh sale of the week and this was amazing this is so cute oh. i paid up for this and i was honestly a little worried because i've never paid up for this brand it is all saints fringe western wool blend coat and it was just too stunning to not pay up i paid like 50 which i mean all saints is kind of hit or miss. it's like rag and bone yeah it could do really good it Eric could also just $20. yeah so it did sell for 225 i had it listed at 300 and it did so good on every single platform mm -hmm. and i get 180 so that was a great sale my one and only on the fourth went to lovely little miss gina she got that really cute tula rosa the hide tassel embroidery skirt from a bins haul or two ago and then a new tag <clears throat> anthropology uh cat carol adkins plate which you can tell how old this listing is which now it's come full circle because the second season's coming out <laughs> if you want one i have more please go buy them i want to get rid of them so bad and we actually for once have a lot of shipping material i have, have so much bubble wrap, wrap so please go buy a cat plate. Like, just send me $15 you can have one. I don't care. But it sold for $50. I made $40. And that was it. Then on the 5th, I had two. I didn't have any. My first one went to Dina. So, hello, Dina. Not Gina. It's Dina. Dina. Love. Instead of Gina. And Dina. Oh, do you think they're sisters? <laughs> no, I Dina don't. and Gina. <laughs> and Dina purchased this Anthropology Saturday Sunday color block sweat set or sweater set. This was super, super nice and super cute. And I was lucky enough to find both of these pieces in the bins completely different part of the bins but i found both pieces and this is really trendy right now as we all saw in the trend report sets Ugh. really in so dina's gonna be silent and she got these for 35 and i get 28 and you know what else she's gonna be comfortable exactly good for you gina then dina, dina. <laughs> whichever one dina or gina then i sold i'm not gonna do the edit that i used to do because i feel like i beat that to death but i sold an the agua by agua bendita Not alicia jardine ruffle swim bottom and this sold for 175 Can you imagine paying $175 for a bikini bottom? I have never paid more than $10. And I was for so, I was so worried. Cause you know, sometimes like you list the bottom to something or like you, something can come in a set. Like if I had those sweat set that I just sold to Dina, mm -hmm. if I had only had the pants, but I used the model picture that had both pieces, people sometimes think you're selling both. Ooh. And that's what I was scared with this. Well, your cover photo But she gave me the, five stars. Has the, the bottom in it. Yeah. Yeah, I know. I mean, I made it clear. And but I think you never know. I think swim bot, swim like stuff in general. People are more like, is it one or is it the other? Because yeah. I know like a lot of people are different sizes and like top and bottom. That's true. So like, yeah. So it sold for one seventy five. I get one forty, and I don't know if maybe she that was my listing price. So she probably just randomly now like had a vacation planned, and she's like, I want to wear something cute. Swim bottom. Yeah. I don't know, maybe she had the matching top already or something. Yeah. But I will maybe. say Agua Bandita swim pieces, like that bikini bottom retailed at like 180 or 190 like so expensive. Stuff's hard to find once yeah. it sells out, and it sells out fast. Yes. Then on the sixth, I have three. I have five. My first one was this Lululemon Swiftly Green Athletic Tee. This is a very unique color. I think that's why it sold so fast. Mm -hmm. And it sold for 35 and I get 25.54. And Ryan always tells me that Swiftly stuff does good. They always do amazing. Always, always, always. Then I sold this Gucci Crystal Duchessa Boston Barrel Bag. This was Ooh. a Vins find and she had seen a 
many a better days. But I mean, like, it's a Gucci. But it's really cute. Out. It was yeah. super cute. And if you put some, like, love and time into it, you mm -hmm. can make it much better than the shape that I had it in. Sold for 125 and I get 100 And last on the sixth was my last of this Anthropology Yumi Kim Velvet Floral Long Sleeve Dress. These are hot sellers. If They're you so find good. them, don't be afraid to pay like 20 or something or even more sold for 140 i have sold them for 180 mm -hmm. and i get 112. my first on the six was this pair of barefoot dreams gray luxe the milk jersey pants so i found these in the bins and i was a little bummed out because they were like so really soft but they weren't the like oh like the pajamas yeah they weren't the like they're just like cotton the like uh, fancy barefoot dreams fabric so they sold for 30 bucks and i got 24 and then to sierra who sierra i'm so sorry i haven't shipped your bundle i was sick and now we're under 11 feet of snow so much apologies we have a lot of things in packages right now no it's ready to go out it the door just it's just we can't leave office. yeah uh she got that really cute new tag cat mom from that same bins haul as the whatever i just had a couple sales ago and then the free people pull on high-waisted rahem jeans sold for 30 dollars, and i made 24 so then I sold this vintage brown leather star sheriff belt. Sold for 25 I made 20 And then this new without tag, Dolce Vita X Free People. Silver, really cute little booties. Sold for $50. I made cute. 40 I love those booties. I oh, loved, I love so Dolce cute. Vita makes some really cute stuff. And then my last on the six was this new tag anthropology brass mirrored monogram um, ornament. Sold for $17, I made $13.60. Also, we said congrats to Laura in the beginning, but also congrats to Ryan, he finished his student teaching. Oh my god, teaching. I'm done with student teaching. I yeah. was sick on the last day. I felt awful. Yeah. So I emailed my cooperating teacher and my student teaching organizer, and I get a text from my cooperating teacher, and he's like, so no call, no show? You're like, his email went to his spam folder. Yes. But Ryan is done. So I literally had like... <laughs> okay, so anyway. then on the 7th, I only had one. I didn't have any. So the 7th was really slow. And my one sold for $25, and it was this Bowden Pokemon not sweater and I get 20. A little brood. Then on the 8th I had five. I had three. My first one was this cool valiant long base layer top. I found a lot of cool in one of these. You have a lot of cool recently. Um these sold this sold for 17 and I get 1360. It had some spots and it had a hole but it was a base layer so do not fret when there are mm -mm. flaws with those. Then I sold a lot of men's items, okay? Yeah, the I men's sold, were shopping this week. Yeah. Or somebody was Unless it's gifts for men, maybe. I sold this Patagonia R1 pullover fleece hoodie. This is the one that I showed in the haul and said it had sold already. Sold for 68 and I get 54.40. I think I underpriced it because it had like five likes in about five minutes. I know that R1 stuff does really good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Then this Vori green pocket Worry. trade wind i don't know if that was right actually i think it was right performance t uh this is apparently a bolo according to a bunch of you guys i've never heard of it before and it's a bummer because i found two when we were at the bins and i kept this one and i threw the other one back so what, the other one what, wasn't as nice what? though That's and it also was missing its label so it's just like me uh it sold for 20 and i get 16 but people said that vori is money yay like Mr. Money. Money. Get Vori if you see it. Then I sold the Corks Shamira Healed Leather Booties, and they sold for 40 and I get 32 and they sold so fast that I was willing to take 40 Then I sold this free, this free People Skyline Thermal in white for 25 and got 20 and two minutes later got an offer on Ricard for 30 that I had to decline. And that's <laughs> it for my eighth. My first on the eighth was this Michael Kors Vibrant Orange the Michael Kors. Fulton Front Flap Wallet. A lot of people commented that they wanted this. Sorry, everybody. My bad. Uh, <laughs> the mac for and cheese. The mac and cheese. The, like, the nacho cheese wallet. Yeah. yeah. Sold for $35 minus a shipping discount. I made <laughs> Twenty-five fifty-four. The yellow thirty-four. Well, <laughs> those weird food codes like yellow number five. Yellow ninety-four. Literally. <laughs> then I sold this J. Crew Thompson brushed cotton blazer. The model pictures for this were kind of weird. It was a men's blogger who was like out in the Tetons, just like hiking in mm. his like red wing boots and his J. Crew blazer, and I was like. One of the pictures is like he's like up a mountain, and this one he's like a sitting blazer? on a rock. Yeah, like it was the weirdest thing ever. Is that a male to. blogger? Yeah. Hmm. It was like, what kind of intersection? Yeah. Anyway, sold for $51 and I get forty eighty. I priced it at 60 and then I got an offer of 51 So like, I'm definitely not mad at all. Then I sold this Ted Baker maroon off the shoulder, a little cover up, shimisi, little see-through shimmery thing. Uh, a little something or another. Yeah, little, well, I think it was a swim cover, but I was like, it's also kind of cute. You know, I like, little, that like the keywords have now extended beyond language, and now they're movement. It's, like, just, it's I, just one of those Ted Bakers. You know, some or another. Can I do that in my list? It's just one of those little tops. It's just like a small little gif of Ryan in the title, just mm -hmm. going like. 
<laughs> yeah. Uh, so for 45, I made 36. Okay, then on the ninth, I had two. I had three. My first one was to Kate. Hello and thank you, Kate. Kate, Kate purchased from my own personal collection. Ooh. It was this North Face 600 Rust Down Puffer Coat. It unfortunately had some spots to it, but it did not have any holes and no broken zippers. Love that. And she got it for 32 and I get 25 60 So thank you, Kate. I just have a different puffer. And I may have purchased myself something. And when I buy myself something nice, I have to sell a lot of my own things to make that money back and that kind of is the situation right now then i sold another pata natagonia pata natagonia pataguchi or a lot of people say pataguchi does that just mean because it's worth a lot of money i have no idea i don't know what that means pata nana nana frana nana banana gonia girls bears forest print sherpa i don't know what pin bears pin were you trying to say pink oh pink pink all right girls bears pink forest print Shh. Centella. Sold for 28 and I get 22.40 and that did have a broken zipper and it still sold for that much. Again, it's a $5 shipping label to send whatever you want to Patagonia Hanna, Hanna, and they'll fix it. Finna, fanna, flanna, banana, gonia. You sound like Jessica Lang in that one scene in American Horror Story. She's singing like the banana song. I can't sing it also. Banana for fanna, fee fee fa 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 fanna. Fanna. I am all over the place today and <laughs> I don't know why. First on the night- Because we've been locked inside. I was gonna say, because I took day quail and I can't leave. It's like a weather quarantine. <laughs> the first thing on the night was this vintage 1960s wicker duck decor basket. Oh my gosh, we can finally get rid of that. We can finally take it out of the- uh, <laughs> uh, 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 Sold for $20, I made $13.54. Dun, dun, dun. I'm it's gonna be like bringing the box. It's <laughs> takes up a lot <laughs> I'm of room. I'm gonna bring that box to the USPS just like over my <clears> head, like crowd surfing. Just love me. it. And then Jack gave this to me. I don't know why. Uh, Iviva Black Lined Tennis Skirt Girls 6 sold outright for $25. I made 20 then I sold to the lovely, incomparable, amazing Laurel. Laurel. She got the really cute Kate Spade lemons wallet from the Ooh. Lori haul. She paid 45 bucks for it. My made 36. Laurel is going to be a stylist. Oh, she's a styling lady. So then on the 10th, I had seven. I had eight. So this is the last day until Saturday. And my first sale was this Athleta reversible zip hoodie. Sold for 35 and I get 25.54. Then to Isolda. Isolda. Which is so funny because Ryan's sister's friend is named her Eliza. Eliza. And my grandma's a nut and calls her Isolda. And his grandma calls her Isolda. Uh, don't all ask the time. me why. I don't so, know. So <laughs> an actual person named Isolda, a nice person who I was chit-chatting with on Posh, Isolda. purchased a really amazing thing. It was the Zillaration. Halloween Bat Moon Velvet Mock Neck Dress. Oh, so, so cute. I love that. And it sold to her for 25 and I get 20 So thank you, Isolda. And I hope that you like it. I did. That was cute. <laughs> then I sold another men's item and another Patagonia item. It was the Patagonia Nickel, which was the color. Mm -hmm. Quarter zip better sweater. And it sold for 51 I don't know what's with all these like extra dollars that everyone... It's like a tip, maybe. Thank, thank you. You get 50 plus a tip. You get 50 and then here's a dollar. That's what he offered. So I was like... I mean, they seem sure. to do that for you some reason. You could have done 50 and I would have taken it too. But I mean, 51's nice. I get an extra 80 cents. So it sold for 51 and I get 40, 80. Mm -hmm. So then I sold this CP Shades floral embroidered stripe top. And this is probably the cutest CP Shades I've ever seen, but impossible to photograph. It's so hard to photograph. No model picture. Yeah, like you guys can see it. It's, it's you can so kind of see how cute it is, but like it was really hard to photograph. You need to have and like, it did have like a decent sized spot on it, <laughs> and so it sold for only twenty five, and I get twenty. Them super shades people. Then they're coming after them. another men's item and another like offer that was not round, which kind of was starting to bother me. Filson green sage button thick flannel shirt offered 49. So I said, sure, would have taken 52, but I guess you took away that dollar that I got from the Thank other you. person. And I get 39.20. Then I sold some American Eagle high rise artist flyer jeans for only 20 and I get 16. And my last sale of the Ooh. week was the Sorel Joan of Arctic's wedge booties. And they only took that long to sell because I listed them yesterday afternoon. So they literally sold within like a couple hours. I just took a while to list them. People and they them. sold for 70 and I get 56. And I would have put like more effort into cleaning that spot off, but like mm. I knew they'd sell super fast for yeah. a lot anyway. So if you had them in stunning condition, you can get big money for those. Oh, those and the, um, I think they're called the Lexi 
boots they're like the same like vibe but they go up your ankle a little bit more those are like 150 200 bucks mm. it's crazy Okay, first on the 10th, we can tell that we're getting ready for the holiday season because I'm selling a lot of sequins. <laughs> Free People Gold Sequin A-Line Elastic Skirt sold for $34. I make $24.74. Then I sold to Shannon. I got this Susan. To Susan. Got this really cute Poor Susan. Susan. Kurt. Sorry, Susan. Susan I'm so like, sorry. There's so name. many Susans and there's so many Shannons. That's not my name. <laughs> Curve Blue Floral Micro Mini Blue Micro Floral Dress sold for $9. I make $6.05. If you can hear taping in the background, that is Debbie. I think it's not showing up. But... Then I made my biggest sale of the week. This Coach Deep Navy Blue Central Satchel sold for $150 outright. I make $120. Beautiful bag. Then to Jenny, got that really cute soft serve. The literal softest hoodie I've ever had in my entire life. Oh my God, it was so amazing. <clears throat> Uh, she got it for 40 bucks and I make 32. Thank you, Jenny. This is why I get confused. This is a Sharon. So we had a Susan, a Shannon, and a Sharon. And a Sharon. Anyway, Coach Tanned CC Monogram Purple Patent Leather Wallet sold for $42. I make 33. We had Dina, Gina, 60. Sharon, Shannon. Most popular baby name of like 19, whatever, whatever, whatever. It's Sharon, Shannon. Dina, Gina. Sha banana, banana. Sharon, Shannon, banana. Susan. <laughs> Dina, Gina. So thank you, Sharon. Then Angela. Thank you, Angela. Angela. Oh my God, put a break in the names. She got the <laughs> thank really- Thank you for having a unique name. Thank you for having Angela. not a Susan, a Shannon, or a Sharon name. Uh, Dooney and Burke black leather logo bag from the Lori Hall and then this really beautiful vintage coach legacy oxblood purse. Uh, sold for $110. I make 84. Both thank you, Miss Angela. Very nice, baby. Bags. Beautiful bags. Then I sold this Vineyard Vines Tucker Slim Fit button down for $13. I made ten oh five. It was out of my closet. And then Chrissy got the vintage 1980s black single stitch wolf sweatshirt and that really beautiful Ralph Lauren brown Aztec sweater. Bundle sold for 55 and I make 40 So, so basically you don't have to put anything away from that haul. because No, I don't all. because I sold most of it already, which is amazing. You did find good stuff though, so that <sighs> makes sense. Okay, so my gross is lost in the iCloud because it's not being air dropped or whatever cloud dropped to my iPad. But I know that it was about 1550. 1,000 550 is about where my gross was this week. Mine was 876. Because we save it as screenshots and the iCloud is apparently not letting iCloud me see that. It. Mm, we got too much And now. my net was like 1,228, I think. Mine was $700.80. So that is all that we have for you guys today. And please let us know how your sales week was. Have you been seeing an uptick since people are really rushing to get those last oh, yeah. Christmas things those ordered? last couple of sales. I have a feeling that mm, probably halfway through this next week, it's just going to stop. Stop. Like right oh, on yeah. Debbie's birthday, it's Which gonna good. cut. Or people mm -hmm. are gonna be like, please ship this now, I need it by Christmas. And I'm gonna be like, be it's like, not my fault that you disordered like, it okay. now. And then it'll probably like stop until Christmas and then it'll like pick back up again because everyone got their money. Everybody yay. got a Christmas gift cards. Money, it's gonna go, yeah. So, before grandma leaves and then plug that gift card into her phone. Yep. We will see you guys on Tuesday for a video. And then we'll see you on Thursday for a video as well. Don't know what's gonna be. It's gonna be something. Bye. Goodbye.